It's time for the next test on the ADT Unimode 10UD Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. There's quite a few changes on the system, but I think we're going to go ahead and start by pulling this ADT 5060-S Fire Alarm Pull Station. Here we go. As you can see, for alarms, I have two Wheelock exceeders. This one is a wall mount strobe, and this one is a ceiling mount horn strobe. And it's set on its regular Code 3 tone, and the strobes are actually being synced with Wheelock sync by the fire alarm control panel. And they are on its sync mute feature so that they flash even when the alarm is silenced on the fire alarm control panel. And then above those alarms wired into a relay, I have this red beacon. Figured I'd put that up and it'd kind of be cool to add to the system. Anyways, for another pull station, I have this. It is a Mercom Life Safety MS-501U. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and pull this and re-alarm the system. Here we go. There are a couple more changes when it comes to automatic fire detection on the demonstration board. As you can see to the left here, I have a ProtectoWire linear heat detector, but I'm thinking we're going to test that out more in a future video. To the right here, I have a System Sensor 2400 photoelectric smoke detector. You can test these out by poking something into that small hole at the bottom right there, and that's what we're going to do. Here we go. So the alarm is now silenced, and as you can see, we have now caused three alarms on the fire alarm control panel. Zone 7, Zone 2, and Zone 1. Now we got to reset all of this. Both of these pull stations just use a Simplex B key to reset. So this first one is actually just like a Simplex T-bar. You insert the key on the top, open it up, and the handle is spring-loaded, so it automatically resets. And there's just a button on the inside, so all you have to do is close it. And then this other one, you lift the cover up, insert the key, turn it, and then close the pull station. Near the bottom of the board, I have another new device. It is an STI SS-2410-E, and it is an emergency push station. So let's go ahead and push it and see what happens. As you can hear, the panel is beeping. We'll go ahead and acknowledge that. And as you can see, I just have it wired into the Gentex Commander with a blue strobe. 
I figured blue would go with blue. And I do have the horn on it disabled, so it only flashes. So as you can see, there's everything turned on right now on the demonstration board. All right, let's go ahead and reset that STI push station. You do it just by inserting a key and turning it. There we go. Now it's reset. And let's go ahead and reset everything on the fire alarm control panel. Here we go. So I think that's going to conclude today's test on the ADT Unimode 10UD Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.